What's going on, everybody? Uh, a couple months ago, we started this dual 212 Yerf Dog build and uh, kind of had to put everything on hold because of the gambler event. We wanted to get the bike ready. Uh, we ended up having to actually build the bike, build the motor. Uh, but all that's said and done. So now we're going to get back at it on the uh, dual engine Yerf Dog. So, that being said, let's get after it. Okay, so before we get started, I've got to actually finish putting the rear swing arm together. I've got the actual frame for it made, got the bearings mounted, but I need to mount the wheels, the axle, and uh, then we can start lining up the engines. So here we go. Over the last few years, I've figured out that there's not a whole lot of problems that can't be solved with a BFH. bad news um, the axle <laughs> ain't long enough uh, this is like a 40 inch axle and I believe I need like 44 um, the axles long enough to clear the actual swing arm but it's not long enough to cover the back spacing and connect correctly into the hub of the wheel so what I'll go ahead and do is mount the engine plates and use this sprocket to line them up correctly and get the engines tacked in, get the plates welded in, and uh, we'll do what we can until I can get an axle in and the correct sprockets. Sometimes it be like that though. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and mount the engine plate to the engine, get it bolted down, and then I'll put the engine on the swing arm, line it up with the uh, sprocket on the torque converter versus the sprocket on the axle, and then I can tack weld the plate in, take the engine off fully welded. Uh, before anybody asks, there's no oil and there's no gas in this engine, so uh, yeah, I can lay it pretty much however I want to, it's not gonna hurt anything. So uh, here we go. just do this one and as far as the engine mount we'll pretty much be done Now that I've got the swing arm actually tacked up and put together, I've got to make, I guess standoffs is what you would call them, uh, that'll just go in here with holes drilled in it so we can actually bolt the swing arm to the frame and uh, that way we'll have a flex point for the suspension. Um, this one's gonna be fun, but we'll get after it. Snug than the other, 
the little rear end once we start riding it. But now we get these lined up and get this. All right, so this is just a uh, a mock-up. I don't have the axle in, so I can't mount the wheels. So I'm just kind of faking it <laughs> right now. Fake it till you make it, right? Um, the motor plates are just tacked in, but I just had to see what it was going to look like. It's mounted to the cart, but I've got to figure out shock mounts. Uh, I got to figure out you know final fitment and all that uh i'll end up having to probably tie some shock mounts in around here somewhere because the tire's gonna be sitting a little further out so i should have clearance if not i'll figure it out but somewhere in here and i'll probably run it up to here and just move this bracket or if not make a new one but uh yeah this uh and I've had people tell me, why not just go with a big block? Well, I mean, I've done the big block, but I've never done multiple engines on a go-kart or anything for that matter. So figured I'd give it a shot. And if it don't work, oh, well, I tried. And I've still got two 212s, knowing how hard they are to come by right now. So I'm happier than a pig and poop. Dirty. All right, so we got a little bit done on the Earth Dog today. Uh, not as much as I would like to have done, but I don't have the parts on hand, and what I thought I had would work didn't, so that's the name of the game, though. Uh, on top of putting two engines on this thing, with the uh, we've still got to put in the, you know, the sprockets, the chain, the brakes. Um, still got to figure out something. I'm debating on whether I'm going to run the stock front wheels and tires or if I'm gonna to go to something bigger but that's gonna take a little bit more modification and the bugs out here are insane so yeah um, but I'm gonna see if I can figure something out about that uh, then on top of that I've got to strip everything down paint it and put lights on it. these don't work and if they do they probably won't work well hey, like and subscribe you can check us out on Facebook at Mini Yeah. Don't forget to pick up a t-shirt, hat, or hoodie from Stover Customs. And you can check us out on Facebook at Mini Bike America. I'm going to go inside and eat me a sandwich. So, till next time, y'all get up, get out there, and get after it. Also, my neighbors think I'm insane because, uh, all they heard was me out here talking to myself. They never once saw this GoPro. I'm gonna let them keep thinking that. <laughs>